Today, let's do something more interesting, and I guess it may even break my computer. So let's see what's going on here. So first of all, we are having a variable count which is equals to zero. Then I'm saying that I will be having an infinite while loop. Then within this while loop, what I will be doing is I will be creating a new thread. Then each and every thread is going to sleep for 10 lakh milliseconds, which comes out to be like 16 minutes or so. I mean, much more than the duration of this video. Yeah. And then I'm starting the thread. So I will be increasing the count and we are going to print the thread here. In case there is some out of memory error, then we will be able to print that what was the maximum number of threads which were created before our system crashed here. So the goal is that how many threads we will be able to create in this particular machine. This is going to vary from machine to machine. So if I show you something here that is with the help of my task manager, so you can see that currently my machine is of 16 GB out of which 15.8 is usable and 9.4 is something which I'm already consuming. And this is my CPU. So around 13 to 16 percent, it's already in the usage here. Overall, it is 16 GB and there is just a very simple line here. So. What we are going to do is I will be executing this code somewhere here and now let me quickly bring it back to this one. So this time I can see that okay it is increasing to 11.4 GB, 11.6 and here also in the graph you can see very clearly that we are getting the memory is increasing here. So it is just increasing something like this and here if I just show you the same thing again. So it is now consuming 80% of the memory and here you can see the number of threads which are getting created. So now it has increased to 82% and I guess we are something around 42,000 threads or something. So now this is 82% and in the CPU we are making usage of 50% CPU power. Okay, so the main goal for this particular video is to show you that how many threads you can create because generally people say that okay if threads are going to work in parallel let's create infinite threads but the point is these threads are going to depend on your memory. So you can't always create infinite threads because then they are going to consume your memory and within memory you need to do other tasks also like currently I'm recording a video so that's also a software this IDE is also a software and now it is consuming like 13.9 GB of the memory that is like 89 percent as of now yeah so if I will try to I mean just keep on continue it may happen that my computer will crash so I hope that it is fine that you have understood the concept and I can close this demo before it actually gets crashed so let me just stop it and how to stop it okay I can just stop it like this so do like the video if you learn something new today thanks